Mike Pence, the latest big name in politics with classified documents. We'll have the latest. Plus, we're one-on-one -on -one with Indiana Senator Todd Young on the document dilemma that also involves our former and current president. This as an Indianapolis native prepares to leave his role at the White House. All that plus State Senator J.D. Ford on a controversial new proposal at the State House involving gender identity. Now on this week's edition of In Focus. I have seen the video myself and I will tell you I was appalled. I'm struggling to find a stronger word, but I will just tell you I was appalled. Federal officials reacting after the death of a man in Memphis. Five police officers now charged with his murder. We'll have more coverage of that story and the reaction to it right here throughout the weekend. But today we're also following the federal investigations into classified documents. This week we learned former VP Mike Pence has also handed over classified documents that his team found at his home here in Indiana. We have reaction this week from Senator Todd Young, but first our Kristen Escow with a look at the scrutiny this situation has brought to multiple big names in politics. The FBI found classified documents at former President Trump's Florida residence last summer, and documents have also been found at President Biden's Delaware home and office. Documents from when he served as vice president and as senator. Attorneys for former Vice President Pence say this was an accident. We obtained letters from Pence's lawyer, Greg Jacob, he recently wrote to two National Archives officials. He claims a small number of documents marked as classified were, quote, inadvertently boxed and transported to Pence's home after he left the White House. Jacob says they were found at the former vice president's home in Carmel this month. The U.S. Department of Justice has already enlisted special counsels to investigate the classified documents found at former President Trump's residence and at President Biden's home and office. The DOJ has not responded to our questions about whether there will be a special counsel appointed to investigate Pence. I'm Kristen Escow reporting. All right, Kristen, thanks. Our D.C. Bureau is getting a lot of reaction to the news this week as congressional leaders on both sides face questions about whether this is all part of a systemic issue in Washington. And obviously it's not a great idea uh, to uh, take classified documents away from the archives. I don't know how this happened. We need to get to the bottom of it. I don't believe for a minute that Mike Pence is trying to intentionally compromise, compromise national security think that about Biden and Trump, but clearly we've got a problem here. It's clear uh, that uh, some protocols weren't followed. Um, I think based on what we know, the, the uh, current president, uh, President Biden and Vice President Pence have handled this uh, the way that they should in uh, letting um, uh, everyone know and uh, talking to the archives and law enforcement agencies. Looking at bipartisan legislation in terms of classified documents, I support um, his efforts. Uh, in the meantime, uh, on the specific cases, the place, the, the appropriate thing to do is have special prosecutor, and that's what's happening. Still waiting to see if Pence will also face a special counsel. Meantime, in a statement this week, House Oversight Chair James Comer said former Vice President Pence reached out about classified documents at his home in Indiana and has agreed to fully cooperate with congressional oversight. He said Pence's transparency stands in, quote, stark contrast to Biden White House staff, who Comer says continue to withhold information. Now, I also spoke this week with Indiana Senator Todd Young. There's a lot of talk in Washington right now about the two special counsel investigations into the current president and former president's handling of classified documents. And now this news that former Vice President Mike Pence has also handed over documents from him, his home here in Indiana. What's your reaction to all the news that's developed when it, when it comes to the handling of these classified documents? Well, it is hard to understand how all these classified documents are, are found in, in various locations. As a U.S. Senator, uh, I have to go into a classified space, a, a so-called skiff, in order to review highly classified documents. And uh, I never really have an opportunity to take those things home. So uh, the fact that, for example, President Biden, uh, uh, there's some documents found in his garage in, in Delaware dating back to his Senate tenure uh, lends itself to a whole host of questions. But as it relates to President Trump or uh, or, or 
uh, you know, President Biden or, or Vice President uh, Pence, uh, an equal application of the law uh, is, is certainly appropriate. I would say, uh, with respect to my friend Mike Pence, uh, it was out of an abundance of, of caution uh, that, that he reported uh, this matter to federal authorities. And uh, uh, he tells us that uh, he played no role in boxing up those things that uh, were located in his house. But I think he would agree. Uh, that uh, since the federal authorities are now looking into it, they should have full transparency into what's going on. If there is equal application, uh, d does that mean in your view it might be appropriate to appoint a special counsel in, in, in Mr. Pence's case as well? Well, news just broke about this, uh, you know, very recently before you and I are, are, are speaking here. So uh, I, I think we're, uh, it's very premature for me.